and I've got some more here as well growing in my in my kitchen garden uh, hub container so this is tarragon I've got tarragon there which I love and this is oregano this is thyme this is an essential package to have of herbs to have in your garden if you have a kitchen garden these four items lemon balm tarragon thyme oregano these are herbs that i would advise you to try showers early friday but improving to greater than six miles on friday morning stars shine bright above Hello everybody, welcome to Kanyuri Grows. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today it's uh, June, early June here in the UK and uh, most of the plants have started uh, germinating. Most of them are doing well, some of them are still very young. As you can see, I still have some uh, spinach, we've got some perpetuals there which are doing amazing. I just uh, sowed them last week. And at the moment, yeah, as you can see, they're doing amazing. Most plants are still in early stages. But this is, the, this is um, the second time I'm planting the spinach because I like to plant them in succession. I've already harvested the, the first batch that I had. I've cleared it out and I have I planted another one. And this, uh, this is, I think, the third batch of uh, coriander that is growing there so I like to plant them in succession because you have to, you have to use the time that you have it's very limited here in the UK the summer is um, very short and uh, we have to make use of that time I have some amaranth growing there as well doing well and I've also planted some beans these are the dwarf french beans dwarf french beans so they're not gonna grow any taller really than that so that is just a small bed that i, I have planted different kind of um, vegetables there on uh, my right here i have tomatoes they've uh, they've been growing well even though at this time last year my tomatoes were were a bit taller uh, compared to these uh, these ones I like to start my tomatoes uh, from seeds but I don't really buy seeds I just buy the fresh tomatoes and uh, I just put them in the soil once they start germinating I will transplant them when they're ready to be transplanted so all this was started from fresh tomatoes and these are not the cooking tomatoes these are just the salad uh, plum plum cherry tomatoes so they they're just uh, really baby plums for salads you can cook with them maybe like um, if you want to make a tomato sauce for your pastas for your lasagna that's how they look over here we just I just put down the these little tiny ones are kale these are collards not kale but collards we call them collards kale and collards are a bit deep. just slight different but they're all brassicas really you might be wondering what <laughs> what's this this is just a way I use to cover my my seeds so that the birds don't take them well, I've just put them down. As you can see, this is another seed here, which I need to cover. Because sometimes when you leave them open, the birds will just come and nick them even before they start germinating. What I have here is a maggot. It's maggot and maggot is... Uh, I use it mainly for making eggs so I can uh, have my herbal tea. I will dry it and... Uh, I will make herbal teas with that. If uh, you want to watch a video, I can do you a video of how I dry my maggots and um, yeah, have my tea. 
these are my kale uh, these these are collards as well these are collards that are growing here it's just a few of them most of my collards were attacked by aphids but now they're recovering from it i just i didn't do anything on them i left them and uh, the parasites came in and they are doing their job they are taking care of the aphids so as i said on my last video you don't have to use anything even if it's organic you don't want to alter the growth of your plants just let your plants grow naturally as they would so the aphids are gone on most of the plants and that is good and uh, what i have here is some uh, what was this 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 is uh, some tuscan tuscan kale some type of kale i'll show you when they start germinating i've just planted them uh, yesterday and uh, so i cover them that way so the moisture in there and the warmth can help the seed germinate so i've just covered with a bag uh, this is a compost bag and uh, wrap around it with a twine so the bag doesn't get blown away by the wind because the winds are very strong especially today the winds are very very strong and uh, that's why you can hear <laughs> in the background and uh, i do apologize for that so this is how it's looking these are just some little basils i wasn't sure what actually i was growing there so i was surprised to see some basils coming up from there and uh, this is my lemon balm i really love it it smells gorgeous lemon balm and uh, i like it in uh, making my tea it's also got medicinal values so it can be used as a um, antiseptic you rub uh, on an area where you're feeling itchy is very good good for teas and i've got some more here as well growing in my in my kitchen garden uh, hub container so this is tarragon i've got tarragon there which i love and this is oregano this is thyme this is an essential package to have of herbs to have in your garden if you have a kitchen garden these four items lemon balm tarragon thyme oregano these are herbs that i would advise you to try Make sure you place them somewhere where there is full sun and also don't water them too much once a week would be enough so down here as you can see there's lots of humidity in there which i will open up in a bit and let the air flow a little bit this what you see under here are some um, seed seeds that i had planted we have i'll just do that now ooh, 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 ooh. that i just i just tipped it over but i hope everything is still intact I wanted to show you what's growing in here you can see got some french bean in there got some french beans three french beans growing in that container we also have some uh, chards i planted some chards there some seeds so i normally like to cover them at least for a week until the seeds start to sprout And I uh, was showing you this, these, uh, I harvested this five days ago, the leaves, because I love cooking the leaves. And uh, it's actually the main reason why I'm growing these pumpkins, because of the leaves. We don't get leaves at the market, but you can buy a pumpkin at the market. So I've harvested them once. The leaves were as big as this one, just five days ago. And now I can see the leaves are growing bigger again so that is very good we have some flowers coming up they're coming out you can see them we have strawberry here strawberry is doing amazing 
this strawberry plant I have had it for around four years now and every year it comes back comes back and every time it comes back it gives even a bigger yield I've got some beans in the back there these are some broad beans at the back and I have this uh, huge collard that has uh, come to the end of its life and as you can see it's uh, now seeding these are the seeds I'm gonna be harvesting the seeds in uh, maybe mid-summer when they are all dried up and here I have the broad beans at the back there just going up the trellis that I made myself I used you can have a look at how I, I did a short video and I explained what I use to make this simple structure of a trellis uh, I've got some sweet potatoes growing at the back there the sweet potatoes have been very slow to germinate it's my first time growing sweet potatoes and uh, because of the weather here in UK it's not really favorable for sweet potatoes because uh, even though we are going into spring summer now it's still a little bit cold for the sweet potatoes and uh, this is the raised bed that I made I think uh, it's one year old more than one year old and you can see the plants are doing amazing in there I've also planted other plants in in between but you can't see them because they haven't started germinating yet they're still under the under the uh, under the compost so you can see that is how the garden is looking at the moment so as I said it's still very early uh, to have bigger crops or to harvest anything at the moment apart from maybe the herbs and the pumpkin leaves and the collards so this is just a, a portion of the garden and uh, on the other side I've got the collards which I think I've shown you in a video that I just did recently so this is what we have at the moment that's how it looks it's still very early in June and I will be giving another tour once we get to summer so you can just have a good clear picture of how things are moving and how fast plants can grow so thank you so much guys for joining me today if you have enjoyed uh, this kind of video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of good ideas and tips for your garden things to do to make your gardening easier and also give you bountiful harvest so thank you guys and until next time